What is going on guys? My name is Ron back again from Roman Reviews here with another episode of Reaction 2 ReZero Season 2 Episode 49 Choose Me. So, this Choose Me could be a couple things. I'm assuming it's going to be about Beatrice because that is honestly the ma most makes amount of, um, the, that makes the most amount of sense. At the end of the episode, last episode, we got to see a lot of stuff happening. Elsa got defeated. I still don't think she's dead, and just all the... Uh, I still think last episode was probably my favorite episode. Uh, at the very least, the second season, and if I think season is superior to the first season, I think it's my favorite episode. Is it the most emotional episode? Probably not. I still think episode 4 and episode 8 of the seasons probably hit those emotional hit tangents, but in terms of just an overall overarching episode structure and how much I enjoyed it as a whole, I think last episode is probably my favorite episode. Um, I've heard nothing but good things about this episode. I've heard nothing but good things about the, every episode so far, and I have been enjoying this ride, this roller coaster, roller coaster ride. We have one more episode after this, um, and then that will wrap up ReZero Season 2 as a whole, and yeah, I can't wait. Um, the last episode, we got to see Amelia complete the trial, but then she went outside, and things were snowing. Why is it snowing? We knew that it was snowing due to Roswell causing it. But Roswell is kind of preoccupied. And the whole Ram incident. There's a lot. Or sorry, Ram. There's a lot. I, I, and a lot of questions I know. I'm pretty sure we're going to get a lot of answers going on to this. Uh, from what my roommate said, he had already watched it. There's not going to be any really action scenes. But this is all a pure story. Which is great because I think... Uh, that is what ReZero really shines in, is its storytelling. Uh, but yeah, I'm ready to jump into this episode, guys, so without further ado, let's jump in to ReZero <laughs> Season 2, Episode 49, starting in 3, 2, 1, let's jam. Okay, so we're just immediately starting off with the snow. They're still out there, though. They built, like, a... But who made the ice thing? Yeah. You did. Yeah, that's... That spirit soul was Puck? It was Puck then. Did you notice something? Oh, those are the same um, ice crystals. Ooh. <laughs> that, that, yeah. Sorry, just changing the audio settings really quickly. Windows did an update, so you know how it is. All right, and we're not getting an intro this time, huh? We know Rom's not dead. See, snow. No, that's Ash.
be like Hector. Only one of his eyes is twitching. But now the book is burned. Yeah, because he doesn't have... This show's great, man. Yeah, but what's... Who... Oh. Oh, it just completely disappeared, so... Oh, is it a spirit? Oh, all the Rizus. I'm, yeah, so what happens to the original? We're still, we're still waiting for the rabbits to come back, though, because of the snow. That's another thing that I've been thinking about.
Once, I mean, yeah. She's been she's been through a lot. It's weird. Amelia looks just looks different. You can tell by how much like just something about her just feels different. Oh no, I knew it! Oh, okay, okay, I thought that was... <laughs> I thought that was the bunny. I thought, for a split second, I thought that the silhouette was a bunny. His eyes are dead. Okay, yeah, I knew she wasn't dead. Oh, he's like, is he giving her his life force? Almost? Oh, that's okay. I was right. <laughs> are the reuses that the clones going to be like body block?
Poor, poor girl. Oh, it's weird seeing him with the facial hair. Hmm. <laughs> oh, this is such a good episode. So she actually did realize that, yeah. <laughs> I'm curious of what she was actually thinking right afterwards. Yeah, the Forbidden li Library wouldn't be, um, affected, right? And we know- we Elsa's still around here. She's somewhere. But he's going to say it's because that person doesn't exist. I don't want you to believe it. He doesn't want you to believe in a lie, though. Oh, shit. You can set the fire.
And give me your autograph. It's a good episode. It's a good episode. It's a good episode. What? Wait, what? Just looking and keep on trying. Yeah, but that's where Otto was. Yeah, because they saw Otto going out that way. So if you want to save me, say, yeah, we can't afford him. You can't afford to die. Not now. Hit and ran. Hit the nail right in the head. Do you think you know who I am? No. Oh. This is great. Amazing episode.
This is a good episode, guys. Where's my water? Then I'll show you how to live. Something like that. Yes, but you know, I know she's trying. To, she's trying so hard to convince herself. <laughs> That's a good line. That's a good line. You want? It? Yep. There's never a forever. But I'll leave you happy. Got some cut onions in my room, man. This might be my favorite speech he's made. He's <sighs> gonna make the choice soon. Yep. <laughs> Teleported him. <sighs> Just fucking smacked. <laughs> uh, sorry. Uh, sorry. That was a good little like, change of pace. You did it, Natsuki, you silver tongue devil, you. <sighs> oh, this is good. Oh, this is good. Is Amelia going to be the one to do this? No fucking way. Because they said it needs one swift... It needs a one move to do it. No fucking way. Is she actually... Revision to your first ballot. I know what he's talking about. We know what he's talking about. Even he's still nervous. <sighs> Bro. Ah. Uh. Oh, that's 
that was such a good episode. <laughs> oh man, I got emotional. I straight up got emotional. Why am I emotional? <laughs> Why? I don't get it. I'm. This actually got me emotional. This was such a good episode. Oh man. Oh, that was a good episode. Like it wasn't anything sad. It was just so heartwarming and heartfelt. That's what this episode shines in. It was purely just the fact that everything that was happening was just a heartfelt message. Especially uh, to, towards Beatrice. That is probably, probably my favorite speech in this entire show. With everything going on. Nothing about that was sad. It was just so heartwarming. And seeing Beatrice just finally crack her facade. Oh. Oh, God. That... Yeah, you know what? I might say it. You know, I feel like I'm a broken record in this case. Because I'm saying, you know what? This might be my favorite episode. You know, this might be my favorite episode. I, I, I didn't think that... Episode, I believe it was 18, um, the Ram, the Ram talk, the Ram speech, could be beaten. I still think Ram speech was one of the, one of my favorite speeches, and still is one of my favorite speeches from this season, uh, from the show. Another one of the conversation, well, it wasn't really more of a speech, it was more of the conversations he had with his parents during the trial. It's one of my other favorite speeches. This one, I think, is my favorite speech. Yeah. Like, this was an emotional roller coaster. But in a different way. This one was just purely heartwarming. The other ones have sadness hidden, hidden throughout it. This one was just pure. This was just a feel good, heartwarming. If you didn't feel anything for this episode, you're you have an ice heart, man. And I I, I think I I'm a I'm a horrible person. This one, this one got to me. This was such a good episode, man. Oh. It's so hard to rank it. Like, I think last episode was just the best complete package of an episode. But this one definitely takes a cake for emotional speech and emotional tonality throughout the episode. Whew. This season is a masterpiece. This show is a masterpiece. I can't wait to see more. I, yeah. Um, okay, so going forward. Yeah, we do know that the... The, the rabbit, the great rabbit, needs to be taken out with one shot. But I, at first I thought it was going to be a tag team effort between Amelia. But you saw some of her like clothes starting to get frozen. I don't know if it was like due to her power starting to overexert herself. Or it was just the fact that it was cold. But I thought it was going to be like a joint effort with Amelia and, Sub and Beatrice. It was Subaru in the background being like, yeah, yeah women. <laughs> but no, I, they, he said it's like, we got this. We got this. You you take a, you take a knee. We're, we're here to help now. You pass your trials. You at least did all this. Now it's my my turn. Which is really, <laughs> now it's me and Beatrice's turn. Unless he uses the unseen hand. If he uses the unseen hand somehow, I mean, he only used it once and it took a hell out of him. So... Who knows? Is it going to be him and Beatrice tag teaming? If so, fuck yeah. But if it's just Beatrice being a fucking badass because we know she's how fucking powerful she is when she fought Elsa, that's cool too. I'm curious, but like, especially now that Beatrice has this resolve about her. Especially now that Beatrice has this resolve about her, she could be even stronger. Who knows? There is, like... I can't wait. This next, the last episode. Um, yeah, because there's the last. This is the the what, next episode is the last is the season finale. Oh my god, this show, man, this show is so good. Let me know what you guys thought about in the comment section below. Let me know if I missed anything. But yeah, I got emotional. That was fucking good. But yeah, anyways, guys, I'm gonna go wrap this up. I gotta go do a couple things. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys, um, I've been very busy actually with life. A lot of good things happening so um a lot of things are looking up uh just with stuff from with work related stuff to even personal things are looking up it's getting busier but it's it's in a positive way and i want to continue looking at it like that um so yeah but anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching <laughs> this is great
This is a great episode. I'll talk to you guys next time. Uh, see you guys tomorrow for quintessential quintuplets. So until then, I'll see you guys next time. See ya.